Alright, so in this video, we're going to be going over integrals with parametric equations, okay? This is kind of going to be the intro video here, alright? So, how do you even end up integrating with uh, parametric equations? Well, you can just use the substitution rule, which is up here, okay? Normally, when we integrate, we have the integral from a to b of y dx. But with parametric equations, okay, we have, we have two equations, right? We have the x equation and the y equation. Right uh, here, it's shown as x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t. So we can just integrate with different bounds. Okay, that's the alpha and the beta that you see there. Okay, those are going to be bounds in terms of t. And you have g of t, which is just the, you know, whatever your y is. And then you have f prime of t, which is just dx dt, right? That's just the derivative of this piece right here. All right, and you have dt at the end. All right, that's literally all you have to do to integrate parametric equations. So... Let's try an example here. Find the area enclosed by x equals t cubed plus 1, y equals 2t minus t squared, and the x-axis. Okay, so let's set up our integral here. We, we can focus on our bounds in a little bit, but let's at least write down our g of t and our f prime of t. First off, what's our g of t going to be? Well, remember, y equals g of t, so this is your g of t right here. This is, you know, your 2t minus t squared, right? So that's going to go down there. In our integral. Now what about f prime of t? Okay, well that just means that we need to take the derivative of the x piece, right? And when we take the derivative of that, you know, that's 3t squared. And we have our dt at the end. So for your bounds here, you may be thinking, ah, oh, well, this might be a little difficult because you have to graph a parametric equation and then see where it intersects with the x-axis, but that's actually not the case. And the reason why is because you have your xy plane, right? And you know that this graph is going to intersect the x-axis in maybe two, could be a little bit more, you know, that many places, all right? But how you can just find that, all right, you can find that easily by setting y equal to zero, right? y equals zero is the x-axis. So if we set zero equal to 2t minus t squared, right, that coming from here, okay, we can just find where our bounds are going to be okay because this is in terms of t so we can just solve there by factoring out a t so we get 2 minus t times t all right so that means that t is going to equal zero and if we subtract two on both sides and then divide by negative one we're going to get that t equals two as well okay so those are going to actually be our bounds here from zero to two if you're still a little confused on that, just realize that the graph is, the, the region, right, is going to start and stop where it touches the x-axis, okay? So it might look like, like this, right? Or it could be below the x-axis and do a little bit of this, okay? But it doesn't matter, okay? It starts and stops at these points, all right, which have t values, all right? So we know that those values, okay, this point is going to occur when t equals 0, and this point is going to occur when t equals 2, Okay, so the, that's how we know what our bounds are. So now we can just simplify this and then integrate. So we have the integral from 0 to 2 of 6t cubed minus 3t to the fourth dt. We can take out a 3, I guess. I mean, why not? So we would get 2t cubed minus t to the fourth dt, all right, and we get three times, this will just be t to the fourth over two minus t to the fifth over five. This is going to be evaluated from zero to two. So doing our evaluation, right, zero, we know that's just going to kill off, off everything. So we're just going to get three times two to the fourth, which is 16, okay, so we're going to get 16 over two minus t to the fifth over five, and we're plugging in two. So two to the fifth, that's 32. We put that over five. And now we just have a fraction to simplify, okay? And you may be thinking, okay, maybe this is gonna be a little tougher to, to simplify, but actually 16 over two, we just know that that is, that's eight, okay? So we get eight minus 32 over five. The reason why that helps us is because now it's kind of easier to put it over five because we know that if you multiply this by 5 over 5, it's just going to be 40 over 5, right? So you would get 40 over 5 
minus 32 over 5. Just saving you a little bit of calculator work where I can because most Calc 2 classes don't allow you to use your calculator. Anyways, you get 3 times 8 over 5, which is going to be 24 over 5. All right. And that's going to be your answer for this problem. All right. So that's a little introduction to integrals with parametric equations. And that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for parametric and polar in the next video in the series. See you soon.